Okay, we got warpers everywhere. What? I gotta swing right past this. This ain't safe. Saying that, no, it is. Is it quiet down here? Seems kind of quiet, man. Let me just get down here. Come on, come on. We can already see the facility. Oh. This is it. This is it. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to Subnautica. So in the last episode, guys, something crazy happened, which is why we're actually starting at the menu for this one. Just as I did my outro, I started to get some dialogue, and what I did is I put my headphones off, and I thought, if I miss this for the Let's Play, then the gameplay is pretty much rubbish, okay? And the whole story of Subnautica is over. Maybe a bit of an overdramatic intro, guys, but we are heading into the primary containment facility for this episode, and I want to keep this intro short because we have a lot to do in-game. Now, if you guys do enjoy this episode, definitely be sure to leave me that like rating down below. Apparently, if you do so now, there's a 40% chance within the first two minutes of this gameplay, I will pee myself and it will recycle into water. Basically, if you guys don't like the video, I may dehydrate. Come here to me. Okay, guys, so... Uh Wait, why are you booing? Did I miss something? Yeah, probably not. I'm kidding, guys. I was just crouched right there. That is the second contact we've had with the Sea Emperor. And yeah, her subtitles are very delayed. You guys see what I mean, though, when I say we literally have to get straight back into this episode? We ain't got no chill. So much is about to happen, and so much is about to be uncovered. For those of you guys as well whose first time in this experience in this, you are the extremely lucky ones because this whole thing well, is probably the most magical section of the game and really what everyone strives to do. Looks like you guys were liking as well. Look at this good stuff. <laughs> So in the last episode, guys, we discovered that this was the thermal plant, and this is exactly where the precursors were supplying all of their energy to all of the other places around the planet. We also linked up one of the teleporters with this place, which allows easy access straight back to the quarantine enforcement gun thing. So that was really, really cool. And I kind of want to capture one of these, you know? Like, is that weird? Uh, I, there you go. Look, see, guys like it. You did it. You did it. You know what? Let's do it, man. I mean, I'm burning up for this. I'm burning straight up for this, but will it be worth it? Hold up. So you got the Kara. Come here, come here. Yeah, a magma rank. Eight food and three H2O. Yeah, that thing is trash. So I gotta try and establish firstly a way to dodge them, which I saw him throw that. And then I need to see Aha! Wait, I've already found it before I finish my sentence. This is our way straight back out of this place. And are my thrusters busted? There we go. So a shed ton of all good stuff. Two creature eggs. We've got so much kyanite. I think I'm gonna try and take some. I'm gonna... Wait. Huh? Wait, wait, what? Hold up. Is that why my thrusters weren't working? Um, I think... I kind of have a little bug right here. So wait, what, if I jump off here, do I, I, I just fall? Yeah. Okay, who drained the water from planet 4546? We're back! We're back! What the freak? How close is it? Is it like inside the rock? That literally sounds like it's two meters from my forehead. Was it this thing making all the noise, huh? You been practicing your impressions? I mean, not bad, not bad. Come on, guys. I'm going to burn up. Let me just scan this. A crimson ray. I want to read about this guy, too. Come here. Come here. Don't go away. All right, let's go. One of the largest rays on the planet displaying generally docile behavior. It's got thick scaling. Scales formed on the skin protect this ray from extreme temperatures, allowing it to survive in areas unpopulated by competing scavengers. Forward-mounted eye sockets suggest a predatory evolutionary history left behind long ago. So we are now leaving the safety of the nest, kinda. And we're heading straight back out where we already know a sea dragon is roaming. And this is what I mean, by the way, by this now being the most dangerous part of the game and also the most important. The fog is so thick in this place. I mean, if I knew exactly where to go. Hold up. Northwest. That's exactly where my uh, vehicles are. And I made a mental note of that also being exactly where one of the drop points are. Straight down to where the uh, come here to me. You know that thing? Yeah, that creepy little thing. We're going to be finding that and hopefully not finding a sea dragon in the process. Oh, actually seems pretty damn clear. You know, this is uh, promising, to be honest. I thought there'd be more activity. So it should be somewhere nearish by to an extent. If I remember correctly, we did quite a lot of underground walking around. So I think the direction we're headed is just over here. Seems like we've got some walkways directly for the prawn suit for now. You can kind of linger on the edges and hopefully avoid also in the process the sea dragons. And these guys, they're just as dangerous. I'm trying to stick super close to the edges, guys, whilst kind of analyzing from a good distance. For the sea dragons, I don't think they actually come this far away from their zone. Maybe they protect more or less the uh, castle itself. I guess it is theirs after all. So in the meantime, we have somewhat free room to try and find where this drop point was. Oh, oh my God. How loud are those things? You want to drill to the face, huh? Can we just sort those dentures out? Is that what it is? Yeah, that's what I thought, you freaking dingus. Get out of here. All right, now, where was I? So I actually think the best thing for me to do here, guys, is retrace my steps. I've made it back now. This would be the route if we wanted to head back home. Now I'm going to almost go back on myself again. 
because there was a route I took. I think I went round to the right-hand side of the cask when I was first looking for it. That seemed to prove the best way. So, here we go. So, we went this direction here. And I think, wait, hold up. I don't want to call nothing, but this looks very, very promising. Oh, yes, I found you. Nice and easy does it. You see, sometimes it's good to go back on yourself. But let's do this, man. I am waiting for nothing. A straight descent. You already know, this feels like almost a containment area, you know? Like a prison with all these bars. Interesting stuff. So, I could have brought the Cyclops down here. But what I've got going, guys, is I've got one nutrient block. And I mean, I keep peeing myself. Hey. i got one stored right there. I should probably take that one. That's a huge food increase. So, I should only need the one nutrient block for this journey. And if I keep peeing myself as regularly as I do, I mean, I'm going to be good for water. So, keep it going. Let's do this, though, man. Here we go. Here's the next one. Let's go, dude. Mm. Let's do this. I am what you see. I'm really feeling this one. Want man. to help you. Heck yes. So we already know that we're heading somewhat in the right direction, guys. Something exists over here. You know, now it's a case of figuring out what it is. And is that still kyanite? Oh, man. Double infection. He's like taking a dip in the lava to cure himself. Like, not gonna work, okay? So we're gonna leave you guys to it. Uh, this is still kyanite. I have quite a bit. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we got warpers everywhere. What? Look how many that is, guys. I gotta swing right past this. This ain't safe. Saying that, no, it is. Is it quiet down here? Seems kind of quiet, man. Let me just get down here. Come on, come on. We can already see the facility. And we're here. Looks like we kind of got the place to ourselves with a few friends. But a big giant down here, he's not here today. Let's keep moving on through, though, you know? Got, like, these mini pods here. They almost look like, you know, the thermal plant thing? Kind of look like that. I wonder, can we scan this? Guys, we actually can. We gotta be quick. An alien structure. A mini alien structure. A sonic deterrent. Okay, no. This is interesting. Sonic deterrent. All right, I've never heard, heard of that before. What makes that sound? Yeah. Okay, we are good. This place would make us believe that we are not, however. But let's go through. We know this force field here. Gravity now exists again. Don't you dare. Don't you. <sighs> My heart was beating right there. I was like, don't make it be another purple artifact. It wasn't. Before we drop that, though, let me just check out this data bank we found. It would have been a data download. Sonic deterrent. These small alien structures are emitting high wavelength sound waves, which seem to be designed to deter indigenous life forms from approaching the larger facility. Ah, so... I suppose they're kind of laid out in this fashion. Hold on, let me just check. Oh my god, okay! When we was down here, that thing... <laughs> that thing was straight up Roman, hold up. These are apparently meant to detour this guy, though. I see him making that eye contact, and I'm not down. Oh my god, what is he doing? You got like a dislocated jaw, my friend? I mean, back... Never again. Sonic deterrence, I mean, they kind of work? Not 100%. He came round. He took like a swooping blow. I am so happy though. I didn't see this guy whilst we was like roaming down here. He must have been maybe over there or something. I didn't even know they still had him in here. Either way though, guys, it is time now. We're heading into this place, man. Insert the blue tablet. Let's go with the strange H as well. Dropping that force field. This place is ours to explore, guys. Let's do it in the prawn suit too. We're going to have a lot of reading to do right now, guys. This is going to be the main thing. Place has still got power, guys. You can see instantly we have this like terminal, and on top it's like presenting us an ion cube. Oh, this is it. This is it. Oh, oh, what? So I've never heard that one before. Let me just start by drilling away at this for a little bit. This will allow us to get a load of ion cubes. And I'm wondering, is this like a generator point? It's kind of on this podium. So I am interested to see what happens once we finish off drilling through this ion cube. This podium is already bland. Like there's a light emitting from... What is it? Hold on. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god, that is epic as freak! Is it generating a new one? It's gotta be. That is the coolest thing ever. They found a way in that case to harbor the energy and literally create ion cubes at will. That's literally an endless resource, which is so powerful. All right, guys, we got loads of these to scan, though. This is all of alien technology. All right, stay away, lad. See that dude? Look at him clinging onto the wall right there. <laughs> got a translation device, an empty case for this one. So what? I guess we'll scan it. Maybe there might be something in there. Nanobots. An unusual box, as is everything in this place. An organic matter particulator. Got a crescent artifact for here as well, which is a tracking im- Bruh. Ew. Another object here. This just looks like a, a mass. Let me just see. An alien building block. What the f- Guys, look, it's literally making another ion cube. 
That is so fascinating. You know what? Let me climb in that light a second. Let me just see what We can actually scan this too. An iron cube fabricator. Over here, we have what appears to be a, a rudimentary tablet. So maybe this is like the base design for the tablets that they used. Circular object, which is a holographic projector. Then this, what on earth is that? Alien statue. Then we've literally got like a yin yang. Uh, it says strange carving. So maybe they're into this stuff too. Ancient blade, which looks like, uh, I guess almost like a human blade. Before we do anything, man, let me just check over here. Please don't tell me this is a purple one. Do not gonna hold the angle back for a moment, all right? Firstly, let's start with the Iron Cube Fabricator. This device appears to be the origin of the raw mineral that forms the base of the Iron Cubes, which powered smaller alien systems. Likely drawing power itself from the main thermal plant, this device may represent an almost limitless source of energy. Now that's resourceful. Now about these artifacts, man, let's go all through these. This rock-like object features organic as well as mechanical parts, and there is some genetic and technological crossover with the design of the self-warping constructs encountered elsewhere. It appears to serve no purpose in its current state and is awaiting some kind of activation sequence. Minerals such as this may have been fundamental building blocks of the alien's technology or even of the aliens themselves. What, so they literally made themselves with this? This carving is hundreds of thousands of years old and made from an unrecognized natural fiber grown on an unknown planet. It bears striking resemblance to the old Earth yin yang symbol, so there you go. The theories to explain the similarity, aliens visited Earth prior to the 4th century and influenced the development of the ancient Chinese. Oh my. The concept of yin and yang is universal. Since yin and Yang describes the fundamental independency of seemingly opposite forces. It may be necessarily existential understanding in some form in all sufficiently developed civilizations. Sorry guys, over my rumbling stomach I had to talk louder. The tapering of two circles in opposed and infinite smally small points I messed that up. It's one logical way to represent this understanding and may have been developed independently by species other than humans the alien statue. This artifact is unpowered suggesting it served a ceremonial rather than practical purpose. The pyramid resembles vines spiraling upwards to toward the warm blue stone mounted above it. It may represent a plant found on the alien's home world, a building of religious import, or even the gravitational pull of their home solar system. An ancient earth blade dating back to the 13th century, blood samples on the blade match the DNA of seven separate heads of the separate state. Okay, so, so they killed people with this. This evidence supports the theory that the aliens are an ancient space-born civilization engaged in the surreptitious study of less developed species. This device contains a network apparatus and a holographic projection unit. It was likely used as a communications relay capturing and projecting the image of the user to a remote localization, so Star Wars much. The nanobots. Scans show some form of advanced nanobots inside this seemingly empty case. These bots are substantially smaller than the developed within the Federation, and it is not possible to ascertain their exact function. It would, however, be unwise to release them. The organic matter particulator. This device contains a highly unstable radioactive isotope, likely to destroy all organisms exposed to it while leaving physical structures intact. Although it would function perfectly as a weapon, it was more likely used to sterilize spaces for later inhabitation. Rudimentary tablet. This device shares many similarities with the tablets used to access the alien facilities, although its structure is rather less complex and may have served a similar purpose, granting security access and storing relevant data. And was thus kept here as a form of legacy support. The tracking implant. This construct is emitting a high bandwidth signal consistent with alien transmissions intercepted elsewhere. DNA on the exterior indicates it was once implanted inside one of the life forms indigenous to 4546B. Its size suggesting the subject was a Leviathan class organism. Beyond tracking and broadcasting its location, the implant may have also recorded biological data on the subject. However, this data could not be retrieved. The translation device. This device stores linguistic data from over 1,000 different languages. The core of the device may allow alien text to be read and translated. Analysis of the onboard data reveals the number of ancient languages and the term CHBC Live appears many times in the device's data. The import is unclear. The device is configured to translate into the designer's language. It would not work the other way around. Well, the more you know. I'm not even gonna think about the journey back I gotta make, guys. I'm gonna explore everything else, though. I'm kind of- I don't know if I'm annoying myself or if I'm annoyed at the game for keep throwing this at you. But you never know. Now I feel like I should have brought the Cyclops down, but getting it down here would have been a freaking nightmare. Let's just keep going. Enzyme 42 Project Data. Ah! Let's read this straight away. This is perfect. According to translated data logs, an indigenous Leviathan species was found to produce a unique substance referred to as Enzyme 42, which inhibited the symptoms of the Kara bacterial infection in other indigenous organisms. The specimen was captured and contained in a purpose-built habitat for further study. The alien researchers went to great lengths to provide for the life form's environmental needs, including the import of independent flora and fauna via an on-site walk gate. However, its health is quickly deteriorating. 
When quarantine was imposed, all warp gates and force fields were sealed. All attempts to develop the enzyme into a vaccine has been unsuccessful. Well, great again. Let's get this started. So in this zone here, very alien-like. We've got some kind of, like, I guess, storage facilities, which appear bland, apart from this one back here. And what do you have? A preserved egg casing. Sea Emperor egg casing. And over here, guys, that may be the Sea Emperor. I guess that was within the egg. Oh, man, he does not look good, though, you know? A preserved fetus. I mean, what kind of Sea Emperor egg casing is formed from thick layers of carbon compost? What the freak was that? Wait, what? What just happened? Suggesting an extensive gestation period, this leviathan species may give birth just once per century, or perhaps once in their lifetimes. The Sea Emperor fetus found preserved in a display case. It was likely a child of the adult specimen contained within the facility. Okay, you see? Superficial damage to the specimen indicates it was artificially removed from the egg. Stunted tissue developed suggests the organism expired during the removal, and the tissue samples have been taken from the di digestive tract. It appears the aliens were attempting to formulate a cure for the bacterium from enzymes produced in this specimen's digestive system. So there's going to be a lot of reading for this episode, guys. If you are fascinated with this sort of stuff, then for sure stick around. It will probably be less edited for the most part, because there's no way I can edit like two hours of this stuff. There'll be a timestamp as well in the description, but let's check out what was in this room other than those weird alien drone things. Ah, we have a teleporter. Nice. Insert an iron cube. Let's get it. So this time we are going to place it in property. You remember the last time we did that? That thing flew around like like crazy and that teleports us to should we try i mean uh should we give it a go yeah let's freaking do this okay 303 meters deep uh i have no idea where we could even be please teleport me somewhere near some kind of fabricator so i can make a blue tablet this is on the floating island if i'm correct and this is like the underneath cavern i don't know man i mean this kind of suggests so i gotta walk out just a bit to find out it, i mean the gross this kind of looks like the floating island right ah i see a mesmer right there by the way should we scan it like, shall we? Hey, Mesma, how's it going? Please don't. Is your it. I mean, it's pretty gorgeous, but I'm good. I'm good right the Mesma, a small carnivorous life form with a unique hunting mechanism that enables it to hypnotize its foes. Like, you see that? The outer wings. The Mesma swims using a number of wings, which can be angled up and forwards on approaching its prey. Tiny lenses on the surface can be tilted independently to create mesmerizing patterns which flood the victim's brain with enticing messages interpreted in whatever form is most convincing by the target. Outer shell. The Mesma can open the jaw-like recess in its protective outer shell in order to error four five share its beauty. <laughs> oh, wow. That's really cool. So the Mesmer literally just corrupted that. Like, are you kidding me? All right, we're heading back. Let's do this. Next room then, guys, is this one here. And I think if I remember correctly, this one has something to do with, you know, those alien vents we kept seeing? Oh, yeah. This is about to explain all, man. And dang, they've made this place look beautiful. Got some standardized plants right here. We know they mean no harm. And we have a data bank as well just here. We can also scan this, the inflow pipe. Heck yes, and a ventilation control system. Uh, what else do we have around here? I said before, we've got these huge mounts. Can we scan this outflow pipe? We actually can. So it has both an inflow and an outflow. Enzyme host peepers leaving, you see? Now we're starting to get this. This is so cool. I feel like I'm in some kind of like, you know, sea life place. Look at this junk, like, come on. This place also goes further down by the looks of things. And I think we may find another data point down here, or at least I hope so. But guys, you can see the peepers getting sucked straight in there. I mean, against their will, maybe. Or maybe they're into that stuff. Maybe they quite enjoy the ride, like a huge slide, you know. This seems like a pretty cool place to do some reading. Let's do this. Ventilation control. Water flowing to and from the primary containment facility is being automatically controlled independently of other safeguards. Data on the water composition has been recorded. Inflow water is being drawn from different biomes around the surface of the planet. We've seen this too. The water temperature is considerably lower than the volcanic environment outside the facility, while microorganism and nutrient counts are substantially higher. The outflow is oxygen-deprived water and is being flooded from the system and recycled back to the surface. Peepers entering the containment facility. The pipes drawing water into the containment facility are filled with peepers arriving from the surface. The fish show no signs of distress. So, okay, now it's like a freaking slide, like I said. Specimens scanned have consumed high quantities of seeds and organic matter, and some specimens are beginning to show signs of inf- Oh, the outflow pipes are filled with peepers traveling back toward the surface. Specimens show no sign of the infection. All specimens scanned are carrying enzyme 42, which data suggests inhibits the bacterium. Specimens' stomach cavities are otherwise empty, suggesting they may have purged the contents before entering. Assessment, if peepers have evolved to distribute the enzyme via the pipe network, this may explain part of the mechanism by which the life on 4546B has survived since the bacterial outbreak. So the peepers come into this place with the infection, or at least some of them do, and then they're cured and then they're dispelled straight back out with this enzyme 42. 
That is so interesting. This was the precursor's way then of trying to, I guess, cure the infection. They were using peepers as a resource in which could then, I guess, help heal things. That's really fascinating, actually. I didn't think like that. This feels like a teleporter, and it is another master teleporter. So another iron cube can go straight in there. And let's see where this one takes us. <laughs> All right, here we go, man. I love the animation when the guy's like, Ooh, like he's about to fall over or something. So let me just see from the rock structure... I feel like we're in the shallows somewhere, like maybe a safe shallows. Okay, we're out. It's a cave system. Whoa, 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 wait, what? Oh, <gasps> whoa, what is this? Oh my good, the mushroom forest. Dude, I would have never found this. No way, a thousand meters from the- Okay, you know what? Making this blue tablet is not going to be as difficult as first thought in that case, guys. Look how well hidden this thing is, though. Like, you would not see this unless you knew you were looking for it. We're going to go back through this again. This is cool. I think there is one more teleporter somewhere. And then from there on out, what we're going to do is, I guess, make the blue tablet. I might make a purple one to be safe as well. Let's check out the one on the far left of the right side just quickly. A couple of the bots around, but, I mean, they ain't deterring me. I've got a feeling another, yep, another master teleporter. My freaking goodness! Where the freak are you going to spit my genetic matter out, huh? You're just going to spew it out everywhere. All right, here we are then, guys. And, oh, this feels like... It's the Lost River. Am I right? You know the one that we saw before? It's got to be. Oh, man. And now I'm trying to think, like, why would we be seeing all these zones? I think there's going to be some kind of resource in each of them that we need to collect. Yeah, I remember this waterfall. I remember the tragic times we faced here as well. You know what? I freaking see that dude. He's, like, staring at me. You know what? I'm not getting out of this place. I don't want to be... Point proven. I'm out. Let's check this middle one out just here. I think this one is, like, a... Yeah. This is like a major storage room. This appears to be a biological archive storing more than 40 indigenous wow. specimens in different states of Gosh. development. Whoa! They have every single... Okay, this is crazy. And you are disgusting. They have every single egg in this place. Like, from all of the different facilities up top. I think that one's like a gasopod. I don't want to name them all. I may start being wrong. That one there is a sea uh, dragon egg, I think. That one is just straight disgusting. <laughs> Whoa. Are these all eggs that we can find around this facility, though? Starting to see, I think, a few repeating. Okay, we know what this one is. That's the sea emperor egg. You know, that one's not been hatched. This one looks like mainly a storage, and that poor egg didn't even get to see the light of its container. Doesn't that egg look like, you know, the thing where Harry Potter opens, like, the, uh, I can't even remember what it's called, but you know what I mean? Who wants me to open it? Yeah! Yeah, that is that egg there. Sea Emperor Leviathan research data. Specimen size categories have been adjusted upward to accommodate this species. Feeding and digesting. Alien research data indicates that despite its size, this species feeds entirely on microorganisms and it filters it from the water, of which themselves depend on a complicated ecosystem system of planet and animal life. Reproduction, large ovary-like organs are carried on the creature's middle section, suggesting that like other species on this planet, it produces eggs. However, internal scar tissue indicates probable infertility. Enzyme 42. The emperor manufactures enzyme 42 within its stomach cavity to break down its food and will occasionally expel it into the surrounding waters. This substance was found to neutralize the effects of the bacterium and its presence in the ecosystem today would explain how life on the planet survived the outbreak. It would remain to be explained by what mechanism the enzyme is being delivered. Health. Comparative analysis of size and metabolic rates indicates the specimen captured by the researchers was approximately 1,600 years freaking old! Extensive internal and external scar tissue suggest it had lived well in excess of its peak lifespan. While a healthy emperor specimen may have held some potential as a cure, it's unlikely any research subjects survived quarantine procedures. Whoa. Oh, well, that gives us some new context and also makes us understand how Enzyme 42 is being made. Sea Emperor produces it in the stomach, then expels it into the surroundings. Then the peepers coming into the facility actually digest it, then carry it back out of the facility and maybe expel it again. I have no idea, guys, but I think this may be another teleporter. And who'd have thought? I can already hear, like, alien drones in this one. This is somewhere in a facility. Okay, where are we going to be spat out at? I kind of want to see. Okay, there is one right here. Did you go through the warp room satellite? Like, did you go through? Maybe so. Okay, I feel like this one is in maybe a cave. Oh, God, there's a cave crawler. Called it. And here we go. What on earth? Whoa, where are we? I uh, actually have no freaking idea. I'm kind of scared to move. Why is the air so dead? You know? Oh, my gosh. Okay, oh, my God. Okay, so he's taking a nip. 
Now I know exactly where we are. The air is dead. I think that's got to be maybe the crags field. That would make the most sense by this point. I mean, dude, you want your freaking egg? Don't lay it so close. What's this as well? Metal salvage. Yeah. This is actually a pretty good place to be. So I need to make the blue tablet. I'm a bit more confident, you know. It's not actually going to be that difficult. So we're going to leave the place here. There is quite a few mesmers. Look, there's one right there. Two, two there actually, then a third one. All right, we are freaking out, dude. So if I can get my bearings, you know what? Let me just enable one thing. In fact, what makes that sound? So getting back to the base in this thing will take no time, guys. If you angle this just right, you can really like throw yourself. I do really need to get some food as well, guys. I think I have another nutrient block back in the live pod, which is exactly what we want. Can I stop grabbing? What the heck? I mean, Wait, who just shot this guy out like a gun? I'm making a note as well, guys. So just slightly from northeast. That's the direction we got to go. I'm going to move in as much of a linear path as I can, just so I don't mess this up, because it'd be a shame if I made all this journey and then forget how to get back. All I'm saying is, Sea Emperor, you better appreciate this. I'm actually that paranoid, guys. I've made two of those, two of the orange, and then one purple. This better be enough. Okay, so I remember seeing these two. I do. I think I'm for the most part on track, guys. I really hope so. There was a lot of these electro things. I haven't scanned them yet. I can't even remember what their names are. So maybe it's just down this descent. Please be it. Please be it. Come on, man. It was about 290 meters deep. Am I right? It's got to be somewhere around here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget. Yes. Found it. Oh, thank goodness. I knew there was one of these bulbs right in front. Heck yeah. Let's do this. I'm not even waiting, guys. In goes the other blue tablet with the H. Let's freaking get it, man. We are gonna enter. <laughs> I don't know what that voice was. I've been recording for 85 minutes. Okay, guys, that's probably it. I thought this would be like a 20 minute process, but apparently not. However, it's about to make this whole thing a heck to more rewarding. Are you guys ready? Feels like a diving platform. Let's freaking do this, man. The water is blue. It's crystal clear. Here we go. 